Hi, I'm Paris and I'm going to be talking about social media and mental health. It's going to be a bit more about how it um, affected me, but I'm going to tell you how I've kind of coped with it and hopefully it can help someone. Um, so basically for myself, uh, I'm a dancer. I, I love to post things on social media. I'm always on social media. Um, and what I've learned is social media isn't always true. You could be sitting there crying and you could post a picture of you as happy as day. It's, um, and it's hard. And I've learned over this time to be true to yourself. Um, post something for you, not for other people. Promote yourself in the most positive light. Um, and it's really weird because I post, I honestly, I do post a lot. Um, and people are always like, oh my God, you're so crazy. And if I don't post anything, they're like, are you okay to say Paris? Like, and I think to myself, wow, like, I'm allowed to have a day off my phone. Like, that is allowed. Um, and then I start to question, I think, oh no, maybe I should post something, but I'm like, and I, that means I'm doing it for other people and not for myself. Um, so yeah, that's one thing. Um, another thing would be, don't worry about what other people think. The quote on my phone screen is, um, be you, do you, for you. I post what I wanna post on my feed because that is what I'm doing at that current moment. It's a happy memory. It's something, I don't know. It's it's just something that I want to post. Um, and I know that I do, I've got a business account. So I look at my insights and my insights could be, I don't know, like 20, like my picture's been sent across 20 times. It's got 37 bookmarks and that my anxiety is through the roof and I think do I delete it do I not what do I do and I just think to myself they could be po they could be positive messages I know they could be negative but you've always got to um switch your mindset from if anything negative crops up change it to a positive straight away think of the positive aspects don't be that person that puts themselves down like if you learn to love yourself other people will love you um and I just, I just think that's a massive thing to learn. And I mean, like I've said, I've posted a lot, I post a lot, but if someone said to me, Paris, post a video of you dancing, you need some content. Honestly, that is my passion. And I'm petrified. I am petrified that I sit on my phone waiting and that's not healthy. And I've learned that that's why I only post what I want to post. And when I'm ready to post it, I will. Um, Everybody's different. Everybody is different. You need to um, find your way. So for me personally, during this time, I decided that I'd wake up, I'd have a coffee. I would do a workout. I'd have a shower. And this sounds so cringy, but I'd have a shower and on the window, I would literally write, it could be a word, it could be a quote, it could be a phrase to start my day off positive. Cause there's no, if you're gonna start your day off negative, it's gonna carry on that way. So, oh, it's so cringy. I literally will put be kind or um, smile or something just to like, or something you wanna base your day on. And it could be um, relaxation. So then I would think, okay, I'm gonna do some yoga or what I tend to do, which is a massive help for me is reading during like, for example, during these times in lockdown, I was reading a book every two days. And for anyone that knows me, I hate reading. I've never read a book in my life. Um, also music. Sometimes I would literally just get in my car and go for a drive just to put the orcs on and listen to some good music. And if you're feeling down, don't put sad music on. Put some, put your favorite tunes on. Put something on that's gonna make you smile. Don't let yourself, it's okay to cry, but put something that's gonna lighten the mood. Um, and I just think that people need to realize it's okay, it's okay not to be okay. Um, God's sake. Ah, it's okay not to be okay. And um, everyone, everyone's different, but all I'm gonna say is the best way for me is to talk. Uh, uh, talk, talk to someone. It doesn't doesn't have to be. It can be parents. It can be a friend. It can be someone um, 
that you've got in contact with. There's so many like sources online now um, that can help you. Um, but yeah, just never change for anyone and you won't be happy until you learn to love yourself. So don't let social media be the worry and the the constant bane of your life. Just live your life, have fun. Don't worry about what other people think. Don't post for others, post for you, post for to keep your memories. But yeah, that's all I've got to say. Um, I hope this helps someone or even if it's just like the littlest bit, but thank you. <laughs>